welcome to the July edition of The Daisy Chain. And I have the privilege of introducing our new head of Wattle House and Deputy Principal, Miss Melissa Shawman, to join our community. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you very much. Today, we are keeping warm inside in our Digi Zone and hearing about some amazing things that some of our year five and six students have been doing in Create. Now, Miss Shawman, you're learning a lot of things at the moment. I am. What have you started to learn about this program? Well, I had the pleasure last Thursday of visiting DigiZone and seeing the girls preparing for their competition. So the girls went to the Robo Cup dance competition and they took their robots with them. So I'm going to ask Sage, can you tell me about how you started off? So we started off with a brain and we built our um, robots up and now they've started to dance so that's very good and we built costumes we coded them ariana on saturday you got a chance to compete for the second time with 25 different groups what was that like um well i found it a lot like a more scarier than the last time because last time at warrigal we only had just our school competing so this time it was a lot bigger and there were more teams competing in it. and saray Tell us about how you came up with these costume ideas. Uh, we all like dogs, so we chose to do a dog. And someone in our group decided, like, came up with the idea of using cardboard boxes underneath them. How did you get it to do that? What have so, you had to do to construct it? So let's go back to the basics. <laughs> yeah, Fantastic so idea. So at the front, we have where the cords go in. So. A and C and B are the arms and the other two are the motors at the bottom. So when you do A and C, they move C, and when you do the other two, they move the wheels. Isabella, after your first competition at Warrigal, you learnt something really important about making changes. What did you learn? You shouldn't change the coding right before a dance because I changed the coding right before a dance and the robot was supposed to go forward, but the robot went backwards <laughs> and hit the um, judge's table. Well, ladies, thank you very much for joining us today and telling us all about this. I cannot wait to hear about where the robot's adventures take them next. Thank you, ladies. I am joined today by two phenomenal French speakers, Annika and Shireen, who have recently been involved in competing in a poetry competition. And so I'm here today to hear a little bit about their experiences. Annika, tell me, why do you love speaking French and why perform it? Because French is just such a beautiful language and it's especially fun when you can just like talk to other people who also know it and no one else knows what's going on. It's like our little secret code. Now Shireen, you are quite new to speaking French. Yes, Was I this am. your first poetry competition? Um, I did it last year, but the disappointing thing was I was half a point off from getting to the finals. Ooh, okay, <laughs> so that made you determined to yeah. come back for more. Yeah. Um, Annika, when you go to those competitions and you see other people speak as well, do you learn a lot from them? Definitely, because everyone there has like different experiences and different accents because different parts of France you speak differently so you get to learn from other people because they might say something differently to what you do so it's a really good learning experience. What's your poem about? My poem's called Dream and it's about this man who wants to imagine a better future without racism or like sexism or different barriers between different people and it's it's quite really inspirational. Um, Shireen, have you ever travelled to France? No, no, but I would really love to. Yeah, that, yeah, I feel like that's a great goal for you to have. Yes, yes? it is. And then, and then you can just say, stand back everyone, I'm taking over for family and I will <laughs> yes. do all the speaking. Is that the yes. big goal? Yeah. I love that, I love that. <laughs> One of the things that seems incredibly unique at Turak College is how many students think our school reminds them of Hogwarts. And our Year 7 English classes have been studying all of the amazing themes, courage, friendship, making the right choices, and how to be a loyal companion to one another. The students took particular interest in the sorting ceremony that gave them all their very own Hogwarts house. I'm not sure if any of them are ready to quite trade up for their own houses here at Turak. August has a wonderful variety of different celebrations across the month. We celebrate Science Week where we'll be joined by NASA scientists visiting the campus to speak to our students. We also have our next guest visitor in the Parent Information Series. 
Colette Smart will be here to talk about raising resilient teams, a brilliant speaker who is very highly regarded in this area. To finish off the month, we have one of our highlight features, the Senior School Musical, where we are performing The Little Mermaid. It will be a production not to be missed for the entire community. We round out August celebrating our very special fathers throughout the community. Our Father's Day breakfast will be held on Friday the 31st of August, bright and early in the morning to enjoy each other's company before the big weekend. So as a special sign off today, I thought it would be most fitting to do it in French. A bientôt tout le monde. A tout à l'heure. Thanks ladies. See you next time. <laughs>